There are a lot of achievements in EU4, and with the latest patches, there are even more so. Some people have all of them, but I am not one of those people. But I plan to be. I've been gone for two years, so there's a lot of catching up to do. Welcome back to the EU4 Completionist series. Let's get going and knock some of these out of the way. Hello everybody and welcome back to this campaign. In the last episode, we were able to reform into a horde as Naj. And in this episode, we're going to be using that horde ability to the best of our ability. Raising every province around us and getting 500 Sunni provinces for the Jihad achievement. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Alright, we're going to Tribal Conquest onto AQ. That will allow us to co-belligerent Ajam and bring in the Commonwealth and the Great Horde just as uh, additional allies to speed things along. I haven't used allies in wars in a little while, so it's going to feel a little bit nicer to do that. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to take money war ups in all of these provinces here. We're going to snake a little bit towards India and try and take some of this land for our uh, Najd mission. For our Najd achievement, rather. Now we can do the glorious raising of provinces. Feels so good. Mm. Right, we're going to take this tech before... Uh, peace out anybody for dip because they don't really want to waste it um that got us some trade range and that's going to really synergize well with this once we get it for 25 percent additional trade range that's pretty good and now i think we can get ready to peace out a jam they will not quite accept i want everything so i'm gonna let the uh, alliance here pick them apart all right they will peace out it's gonna cost me what 60 dip we get all of the uh foster trade node provinces Money and war ups. I'll make sure that we raise everything as well. We're gonna get that dip back really quickly. That's already only three dev. And because we're a horde, we're finally gonna be able to be ahead of time on tech. Oh, feels good. I've been behind a mill tech so long. I had to hold this war off so long because they would have beat me on oh, the Ottoman Egypt. That's so disgusting. All right, so we piece these guys up for this stuff. And no one really cares about a coalition. We made friends with Transoxiana. We raise, and we can start expanding our administration, getting some more gov cap. Time out. Don't do this until after we reform out of a horde. That was a total waste of points. Just foolish. Right, we're going to take these two provinces and some money. Um, we're going to try and fight them all. They got too many forts. I don't want to lose my manpower. I'm already at zero, so that's going to be that. All right, one thing we notice here is that uh, we can gain some extra... Tier 6 reforms, um, after they become Horde, we can get the Barbaric Despoilers for the Raising Power Gains. We're going to just go ahead and do that. And then we can always change our stuff later on as well. So we're getting still a bunch of reform progress, and we can always pick one of these later on. Alright, let's declare this war. This one should be pretty quick. Alright, we're going to take this and money from these guys. Alright, we're going to go for a Conquest War. I don't... <laughs> I don't want to do... I don't want to do uh, show superiority. That's that could be very bad. Go for Alexandria. All right, peace out, Ajaran. Maybe we win a fight for once. I mean, war scores, war score. Let's try and pick off uh, Islet's troops because they're uh, gonna be and they got to breeze. Damn it, they're gonna be weak. And these guys got everything sieged down, but can they march over here or something, dude? I mean. They have a direct land connection, so I hope they do. All right, we can peace out Tunis. This war is going surprisingly well. Thank you, Common Blob. Well, we can take this. Uh, unfortunately, Ottomans are about to beat the crap out of me. Uh, that way I'm not too overextended. Just a yikes. And I don't want to spend too much aggressive expansion because I do have to beat up on the Mamluks next, too. So we'll just take that. Not the cleanest looking thing, but I think it gets the best, uh, best trade you can take, really. And... We'll do that, and make sure we burn everything to the ground. Make sure we're spending our mana in Baghdad to try and get the institution to spawn faster. Alright, this war's gone on long enough, we need to fight the Mamluks, so we're going to do this. It's going to create a little bit of a coalition, probably, but we have treasons with pretty much everyone. I'm not worried. We get a lot of money, 1,835 ducats, and we get all of our provinces in Egypt we have claims on. Send that. We get ready to fight the Mams. Ethiopia would join. That'll help because we are really low on manpower. 
All right, here we go in Baghdad. Hitting the institution. It'll start spreading. Hopefully pretty quickly. All right, time to go to war again. The Mamluks have a rather annoying little alliance network. Um, Tunis over here, Ajaran, uh, Funj, which is just these guys down here. So a bunch of stuff we need to siege down to uh, get them out of the war, but we should be able to beat them pretty easily. And then we're going to um, just get Fars out of the war right away. And we get the reinforcement. Oh, we would have won that anyways. Nice. All right. Go back to sieging. Get some more war scare from Fars. Oh, they're building some more units. Three more war score. Excellent. More money from Fars. They're a little punching bag lately. Wow. I need diplomatic ideas or something, dude. This is crazy. 52% war score for Cairo. We'll wrap some money from Tunis. All right, we can piece them out for these four provinces. And um, a little bit of money. Damn, we could even do this still, too. Concentrate. Make it even cheaper. We might as well do that. Pour that all up. Yeah. This went from 33 dev or whatever it was to 18. Oh, Cairo. Oh, we can get a free reset on our Golden Age? But we should pop our Golden Age as fast as we can, then. All right, we're finishing up all of our ideas here. We get Tolerance of the True Faith, so that will help us with our... Um, just general unrest, because mostly we're going to be pretty much all Sunni with our conversion strength. And caravan power plus 25% from finishing trade ideas. So we get a policy, trade efficiency, and production efficiency. And some more trade efficiency. So we're going to be raking it in from trade. Um, we just need to get a little more trade power, move our trade capital to Alexandria. So we need to get some more from Aleppo and start pushing everything over here. And we can start making some real good ducats. We'll see Form Arabia too. I think that will help. I believe that moves our capital, but I'm not certain. And we start pushing from Persia, probably. Yep, that looks good. Well, the League War just fired. Um, the Ottomans are participating. So that's good for us, probably. Uh, truce with them is over in about three years. So in about that amount of time, we'll be able to go back to war with them and probably beat them. We won't have Commonwealth on our side. So hopefully the Religious War is still going on at that point. And the Ottomans are really, really weak. And then we don't have to worry about fighting them all on our own. We can have a... A little bit of a coalition against them, more or less, so. All right, time to go to war for Ajam. We just took out the Timurids, got some more reps from some of these guys, and now we have to do this all again. I'm going to take two provinces from Sin during this war, and then that will give us tribal superiority on Gujarat. We can start taking some more of this juicy trade from the Gujarat node, pushing that into Basra. All right, we have our next idea group. And as much as I'd love to go religious, we don't really need it. Admin would be great for the CCR and the governing capacity. Decent policies as well, but I don't really don't really want to do that. Humanist, great for a horde. Really good, but we're not having any problems with rebels and expansion. We're actually playing pretty tall. Since we're playing pretty tall, I kind of want to try infrastructure ideas and just see how much money we can make. But I think infrastructure and then I think offensive would be a nice second option. Or we can take the military idea group now, since we're ahead of time on mill. Finish this off and be really, really, really strong. Then we take infrastructure later. I think I think I think we're gonna go for offensive right away. We're we're gonna we're gonna fill this out and we're gonna become really, really, really strong. Also great policy with economic, you get the ten percent artillery combat ability. So as artillery becomes more powerful, we gain some bonuses there towards the late game. Alright, we can take these two provinces. Alright, we can take this from Ajam. Go ahead and do that. And let's start the raising of the provinces. Caught up on all the techs, and we are pushing the institution a little bit around. We'll get it soon enough, really. Everyone else in Europe has it, but the Ottomans don't quite have it yet, so that's really the only thing that matters. Speaking of the Ottomans, they are in trouble. And it looks like the Emperor is losing, which means the Ottomans are losing, because the Ottomans are on the Emperor's side. All right, it's now or never, baby. Rebel Conquest, CB... They're calling Ethiopia Commonwealth. They're basically our ally in this war anyways. We gotta play it nice and slow, not get our units caught out. Make sure we occupy all this stuff down here. We go for the fort right away. And then hopefully Ethiopia can get Ajaran out of the war really quickly. And uh, the auto blob are beat up on from the north. So, got a huge stack wipe of 9k over here. Morale take back up. 
Probably gonna stack up this 11k over here. Ottomans are building troops. Great start to the war. Beautiful. Alright, that's what I want from the autos. Make that happen. And no one really cares. So, that is gonna be sweet. Ooh, we're gonna pick off this cavalry stack. Don't know where they... They must have hired some mercenaries or something. Or maybe that's just actually... Have they built, but regardless, it's about to get wiped. Very expensive mistake on their part. And we're getting all the forts in Anatolia. We're gonna pick off the Tunisians here without any morale. They retreated there, and they're gonna get wiped. We piece them out too and cancel their alliance with the Mamluks. That would be pretty sweet, so that way we can fight the Mamluks after this war is done without as much of a headache. And hopefully we can do the same thing against Ajran, but they keep losing to... Uh, Ethiopia keeps keeps losing to them, so maybe we'll have to march a, st a, a stack down here to deal with them. Big mistake over here by the Ottomans. They tried to resiege their fort, and uh, they're not going to be able to get it done. Second of July, I'll get a morale tick. They're going to win this fight back to back. Their units just aren't as strong as mine. I get those bonuses to my discipline, so I'm being able I'm able to beat them pretty easily here. All right, money war reps and an alliances. All right, we can peace out Ajaran, cancel their alliance with the Mamluks. Alrighty, time to fight the Mamma Jammas. I believe there's a 10k stack over here somewhere I want to eliminate. Okay, the Ottomans will accept this peace deal. Take an additional 150 ducats as well. It'll put us over at 98% overextension, but it's not going to be that bad because we can raise everything. We'll go ahead and do that. That just boosts us over the uh, government rank so we can change the kingdom from Emirate, and that gives us some prestige. And um, our culture group bonuses as well. So that's pretty sweet. Raising core. Excellent. So now we're actually well under the governing cap. We did build a bunch of governing cap buildings. So that's pretty good too. Uh, might as well start building some more production while I have some money. We're way ahead on Miltech, so we'll take the recruitment time bonus. We're at 390 government reform progress. Um, so whenever we're ready to change our government reform from a tribe back to something a little more stable, we'll go ahead and do that. But right now, I'm loving the raising mechanics. This is just great. Alrighty, so we're going to take this peace deal with the Mamluks. And let's do the mission topple the Mamluks. This gives us some more permanent claims, as well as fire as an event. So we get a monument upgrade level in Cairo. I'll happily pay that thousand ducats for that. Or we get reform progress growth. So we don't need that. We need this. That finishes Unite the Homeland. So this will um, give us a couple of permanent modifiers. So tolerance bonuses, unjustified demands, sweet. And uh, every time our leader dies, we get bonus religious unity and stuff like that. So that's awesome. And then we also don't have to wait till attack 20 to form Arabia, which we're going to be waiting anyways, just because I want to get the... Uh, Naj achievement for 500 Sunni provinces. So once we get into some absolutism, we'll uh, blob out a little bit in the late game and then we'll click all the buttons all at once to get the achievements later on. No more scary Ottomans or scary Mamluks. We're in a prime position where we don't have to worry about anybody except for maybe the Commonwealth if they uh, start to border us. But the Ottomans should be, you know, weak enough to conquer, but not weak enough where Commonwealth will change their enemies. Plus a Muscovy and then we'll be battling it out anyways over here, but I think Commonwealth is gonna gonna win. Okay, let's embrace the institution. And then we'll take our dip tech. Should be fairly easy here. I want everything from Forest Full Annex. Finally get rid of them. Easy victories up here. Getting some stack wipes more or less. Oh, that was not a stack wipe, but. Getting the war score nonetheless. Alright, take this from Corson. And then we'll finish the siege and we'll full annex Ajam. And then we'll take Fars out. And let's uh, make sure we do all of our raising. Alright, peace out Ajam. Coalition again, not really scary. Not a problem. This, I believe, is a trade center, so we'll trade company to that. And we can peace out Fars. Our name placement. Very big. We have the largest letters in the world. That's important. All right, let's go ahead and declare the war here. Excellent. Stack away pretty much all of their troops. They have literally zero standing army. So we can uh, send this unit over here to seize these guys down with their 15k cannons. And we should be good to go to uh, fight Portugal. 
who looks like they're here somewhere. I don't know who sees this province, but uh, they'll be able to fight Portugal, get them out of here, and East Menji Baja out prematurely. Excellent, we can do that now. Get a little bit of dip. That's fine. We'll get that back through raising provinces. One away from the Ottomans. We have the least number. It's always fun to see when that happens. So we're crossed over that uh, threshold. All right. Portugal has caught me out a little bit up here. And uh, I didn't want to lose too much manpower because I have some more warring to do. So we're going to take the coast for a few other provinces to connect our lands together. And that should do it for this war. Maybe we can take another province or two. And we'll just take that peace deal. Feels good. Always happy to raise provinces. Should be able to get a, uh, another mill idea here. Each ability, 20%. Huge bonus. This makes our wars a lot faster. Saves us time, saves us money, saves us manpower, saves us everything. This is 20% off of everything we spend during a wartime. Crazy how fast this this really this modifier is, is crazy. We're speeding things along. I'm going to spend all of it. Might need some more of it later, not going to lie. But um, that's going to give my gov cap another 100 or so to play with, which is really, really important. Of course, if I do uh, the infrastructure ideas, which I plan on doing soon, that expand administration cost is, is negated by a lot. So I didn't want to spend all of my expand, expand administration government reform progress until these ideas are completely finished. So these are actually our next ideas. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have saved it. Easy peace offer for Songhai. Money war ups. I collect a whole bunch of them. Let's just peace off Fazan and some money. All right, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to fight Mamluks. Try and peace out Tunis here. Maybe I'll take some stuff from them. Maybe I won't. Um, I just want to get them really on all alliances with the Ottomans maybe in this war. And then I can um, bring the Commonwealth if they pay off their debt into the auto war. That truce also just expired. We can piece out the Mamluks for full annexation and some money. Go ahead and do that and make sure we raise the provinces. The extra mana is just invaluable for everything we need to do. We're making 207 ducats a month. 130 of that is profit. That's just ridiculous now. We're making such a huge amount in our economy. We're upgrading many factories left and right. All right, let's go and grab this discipline here. That puts us at uh, quite a bit of an advantage. And we can also get our artillery combat ability in the mill um, policies. So we'll take this after uh, we catch up on a mill tech. I don't want to run, I want to try and gain as much military power as possible for as long as possible. So we'll grab it when we want to use it. Otherwise, we'll stay without it. All right, we're just helping out the Commonwealth with this war here. I don't know why, but Muscovy thinks they're going to be <laughs> trying to siege me down instead of defending their own homeland. But uh, once the Commonwealth gets out of that war, they'll probably be able to join in my war against the Ottomans, make that a little bit easier. Our units are just way too strong right now. We don't even have that artillery combat bonus. We only lost 1,000 men to a stack wipe. Of course, our, our leader is a great general, which helps. Wow. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is their general, right? <laughs> we stack wiped them so easily. We just came up with another battle, so we, we fought another 25k here. They were trying to reinforce. We won this battle, marched over to this province, caught that 25k, and stack wiped it. That's crazy. Well, you're welcome, Commonwealth. And we're going to go ahead and wipe these guys. So we probably killed, I don't know, 80,000 Muscovites after this. All right, that was over. The Commonwealth takes a couple provinces, and they will join this war with me. So that is excellent. Let's do all the things we wanted to do before this war is over. So let's upgrade... The center of trade, we had to dev that up a little bit. Get our trade power and Hormuz a little stronger. And then let's go ahead and we'll seize land from the tribes. And we'll wait for the Commonwealth to kind of get their men back to home base, and then we declare the war. All right, we're going to go ahead and declare the war with show superiority. That's a little bit risky, um, only because we are not Tech 16 and Ottomans are. So we're going to try to hide from them until we can tech up. But Commonwealth can match them on tech, and I believe their units are probably stronger. We'll just try and piece out the uh, the war allies here, and we'll go ahead and declare the war. All right, Commonwealth, do your thing. I want to see the Balkans siege down. Uh, we're still not caught up on tech, but we're still winning some battles, taking some losses at least. It's gonna hurt my uh, manpower, but I'll get the war score going. Wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. All right, here we go. We're going to take the tech. 
and we'll probably finally stop losing that artillery fire is big plus the next level of cannons now hopefully we'll be able to actually win some more battles here because our manpower is desperately low from taking too many fights we lost a couple which is unfortunate because uh commonwealth lost control of constantinople and now we are technically uh losing the war but not for long Alrighty, found an Ottoman stack. They're probably going to sign a general, and they can't because they're on unoccupied land, so it's going to be pretty much free. They have no artillery either. Nice. Alright, I think I'm going to piece the Ottomans out. My manpower is just destroyed right now. Um, We take all this stuff over here, which is really nice, and then we can also take um, these two provinces and Trebizond, and no one really cares, so let's peace out. We can upgrade centers of trade. We can also upgrade... Monuments to Tier 2. That's going to help us against the Shias, but um, there's also a better monument for that. Caravan power. Merchants. The free merchant. I might as well upgrade that. And then uh, I want to get this monument at least to uh, this for the max absolutism. That's going to be coming in about nine years. We get absolutism. So if I can upgrade this monument a couple times, that'll be excellent. All right. They're stuck between us and Portugal, so there's no way for them to go. They only have one fort. Actually, do they even have a fort in their capital? They don't have a single fort. And we'll just march over there and murder them. Alright, Tunis War was pretty easy. Just had to occupy some stuff, get the siege. And now uh, we can go ahead and do that. But, uh, yeah, that'll we'll still stay below the overextension threshold with this for sure. So, And we can raise all the provinces. Alright, let's declare war on Ethiopia for travel conquest. And we can start taking tech ahead of time. Um, global trade is taking a little bit of a time to get here. Um, we have the trade center in Cairo, level 3. I should have built one in um, Baghdad a long time ago, which that would have helped a little bit to get global trade. But we'll just take our time, take tech ahead of time, just to get that admin efficiency in the admin and the dip, just so we don't waste our, our uh, dip mana. Although we should be trying to dev a little bit in Arabia for the achievement. All right, let's just take the tech ahead of time. Admin efficiency, super good. We can start building universities now with all of our money. Which, honestly, I want to be doing in as many provinces as I possibly can, especially over in Arabia. It's going to decrease the dev cost by a little bit. So, by the end of the game, everything's going to be blue here for universities. Right, we're going to take war reps and money and cancel Portugal's alliance with France. Because um, I want to be able to eat the Maghreb once um, I can connect to them via Tunis. So... Getting a little stronger now. The admin efficiency really helping us out. And then in about three years, we're going to get some more admin efficiency from some absolutism. So we're going to start really amping up our conquering. And we just noticed that Sindh no longer has some good allies, so we're going to declare war on them. All right, let's take this and war ups from Sindh. Nobody really cares. Alrighty, Age of Absolutism is here. We, Commonwealth pops Golden Arrow right away. Uh, we are 10 units away from getting the third... Um, objective here so we can probably build those units we can definitely afford it just the manpower might be a little while to get back up towards our reserves and we can start our golden era as well which i think i'm going to pop sooner rather than later there's no point really in holding it i think i'll pop it once i start i'm um, going on the war path i do want to do court and country so we're gonna have to take a look at our estates um select some things and unselect others try and get our absolutism pretty maxed out we are currently sitting at 15 um, and our max is at 85, which is not that bad. So we we might not even have to pop court and country. Um, I just want to see, you know, how how high I can get this. I really don't want to do deal with particular risks. That's always the most painful painful thing in the world. So we'll see if we can spend some of our mill power on harsh treating or or how we can get this to be bumped up. But um, I think we should be able to get it up there pretty easily. Okay, so we use favors to have John Poor break their alliance with Gujarats. Now we can go to war with them. For tribal conquest. Big fights going on here. Stack wipe like 15k of these guys. Excellent. And these guys are getting caught off oh, no morale. Another stack wipe. Excellent. All right, we're just going to take this from Gujarat. I'm not going to wait for the absolutism to do this because, uh, quite frankly, I can't reduce autonomy because I'm in the war with Muscovy, thanks to the common blob, who is just destroying in Europe, thanks to there no one being able to threaten them because the Ottomans are toast. So but that's that. And Gujarat is going to be more or less no more. All right, boys, we're going to try to go to war with the Ottomans. We're going to do a conquest CB. Um, I just think that they're going to beat up on us. So I don't want to have to fight for war score 
coming down to the end of the war. So let's just go for a quick conquest. Oh, we're just going to do another alliances with the Ottomans. And we should be good to go. Get these units grouped up. And then we're going to send them right back to Anatolia so we can fight the Ottomans and hopefully take a chunk out of them. Yeah, let's take the let's take the institution. And then let's just grab. We could save a little bit more if we wait until January, but let's just grab these now. And I want to start working towards my infrastructure ideas. Yeah, Ajaran, uh, unfortunately, is being eaten by Kilwa, so I'm not going to be able to take their land. Um, I'll just have to fight Kilwa for it later. I do get CBs down here once I form Arabia, so we'll just go ahead and do that. And we'll take all of that for all these provinces, and we'll raise in core. That'll help us a little bit with getting towards our next uh, admin idea. Jeez, they have all of their men down here. All 150-some K of them. So... You guys better freaking siege some stuff down, because I don't want to deal with the entire Ottoman army. All right, um, we're gonna we're gonna pop our golden era now. The morale is gonna be really helpful, and I might just take this. Then I think what we can do, we can grab Defender of the Faith. So now, if we look at army com quality comparison. We are going to destroy the Ottomans. Let's take our war goal back, and we'll see if we can fight them somewhere. And they're scared of us now. They know. The AI cheats. They know when they're going to win, when they're going to lose. Catastrophic victory. All right, we chased them back out of Anatolia. We took the war goal. Perfect. So now they can fight Commonwealth. Hopefully they take advantage of the low morale and actually get some uh, some fights in. Or oh, catching some fleeing Ottomans in uh, Constantinople. Maybe we get a stack wipe here. Nice, we do. And that gets another siege tick. If you didn't know, winning a fight on fort gives you a siege tick for free. So that's pretty awesome. I don't want them coming out of nowhere and beating me. So I'm actually going to barrage. And we'll go ahead and take the admin efficiency from the age. All right, so Portugal got beat up by Spain. Uh, so one thing we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of that. Go into war with Ethiopia. Trying to finish off the, finish them off as much as possible. All right, this is our peace deal from the Ottomans. We're going to take all the Persia trade and then a few other provinces down here, slowly starting to pick at them Then that demand. And we can start raising the provinces and coring it up. All right, one thing I want to do is build a big fleet. Uh, we're going to build 20 uh, light ships, 3 heavies, 10 galleys, and 15 cogs. In Well, that's just obnoxious. Because they're going to start building over here, and I, and I don't have the Suez Canal. God, I hate that shit. But whatever this fleet ends up being, that's what we got. Looks like it's mostly the light ships and the heavies. All right, it's time to declare war on Tunis. I don't believe we can full annex them. No, we're just shy, 111%. So we'll just leave them with a couple provinces here. All right, we can peace out Ethiopia. And we can core all that stuff after raising it. All right, we should be able to piece these guys out. We're going to be at 66 overextension from this. Maybe wait until these cores finish, and then we'll piece out Tunis, start integrating Syria, and then go to war in India. All right, we cored up the rest of our stuff, so our overextension should be fixed. And we'll core all that up, and we'll raise that. Tunis is now just two provinces here in the desert. And we border Portugal, who's going to be really easy to beat up on. All right, let's finally click this button, 810 annex these guys were way ahead on our on our dip so we should start spending it and what we need two of their provinces to form arabia as well so it's also going to fix our trade tremendously we're not siphoning income from them uh we probably could have been a while ago but i wanted them to build up their nation a little bit all right this is gonna be a little bit of a longer war but we're going to declare on batmanis now and see exactly uh, how much land we can take from them from them i do want to get as many of their coastal provinces as possible uh particularly the gujarat trade nodes and then we can actually get some stuff from down in, uh, is this Cormandel? Yes. If I can just get all of their coastal provinces, that'd be excellent. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Well, this war was actually really quick. We're able to take the entire coastline here. And we can go ahead and do that now. It's only 83% overextension, and that's going to go down the second that we raise everything. We're able to get the rest of the Gujarat right known from them. And our truce with Gujarat themselves is actually uh, up, so we can probably go back to war with them pretty quickly here. All right, we need to uh, stop Transox from stealing some more of our trade. Ideally, I'd like to get Constantinople trade, but that's 
going to be a little while so we can do that. So stop Transox a little bit. Steal some of their trade. Maybe get some trade companies up in uh, in their trade node. We are just obliterating these guys. Of course, they had no front line. 13,000 cannons just hanging out. And uh, yeah, they're, they're all about to die. Not even a contest. I don't want to use too much of my admin, so maybe if I can release a subject, um, I can save on my admin, so I just raise and then release. That could be an option to uh, catch up on my admin tech while still conquering land. Yep, found their front line. Don't know why they split their units up like that, but the AI does what the AI does sometimes. Let's piece these guys out for all their Gujarat uh, trade node provinces. Now we're going to take all of this stuff, and we're going to piece out of the war. And declare the war. All right, peace out, Gujarat now. Looking a lot cleaner over here in India. All right, time to show superiority on the Ottomans here. We have such high military tradition. This is going to be really quick. And we're going to get cl we're getting close to firing court and country. So we're doing this naturally. Didn't we didn't get the uh, we didn't know CB when we put our unrest up. But once it fires, we have to chill for like 10 years. And that's fine by me, because, um, you know, I kind of need to stabilize my manpower and a few other things before we uh, really go hard in the paint. Plus, plus, we'll finish these ideas, and that way we can get expand administration costs reduced. And we're sitting on a lot of government reform progress. Like a shit ton. So we'll have plenty of gov cap. All right, we have court and country firing. Uh, we're going to actually go for this one here. Loose absolutism up front, but we get the National Unrest modifier, which is going to help with a little bit of our unrest. Um, that brings our max absolutism down a little bit, but uh, not by a lot. So we should be able to piece out the Ottomans for everything that we wanted to take anyways. All right, Tunis will finally peace out. All right, War Singali is peace outable. Wait a day. Raise all of this stuff, and this is going to be really juicy. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Constantinople is now 23 from 45. All of that, and we're still under 100% overextension. Which is insane. Yeah, we uh, we are taking on we take on the Ottomans. Ottomans are not a threat anymore. The only threat really is gonna be France and Commonwealth once they finally decide that they're done with me. And Syria is almost done being integrated, which means we're gonna form Arabia. Which means we're probably going to end up um, fairly shortly going away from this horde. And uh, we're pretty close to the Jihad achievement. We need another 200 provinces, which I think we're going to be starting to get after court and country. And then after that, we'll uh, we'll try to form Arabia. All right, we've court everything up. Let's take our admin tech. Uh, we're going to upgrade this one more time so we can get the mission. And then we can dump a few more of this into the army. And we'll probably stop somewhere around here when we stop getting the grain provinces. Upgrading the army, and then we can focus on the economy again. But we're making a load of money. Check it out. Almost 400 ducats. All right, we've integrated Syria. Our diplo rep's going to go down for a little bit. Not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to state up all of their uh, their provinces. Oh my god, we got a map of the new world now. France is insane this game, dude. And they're finally declaring war in England again. So one thing you'll see me do here is I'm building great mosques in all these Coptic provinces that I want to convert. Um, that gives you extra 3% missionary strength, so that's going to be uh, pretty important too. Um, I did just finish the second level of this monument, um, but I do want to get the third level, so I need to save up another 5,000 ducats. Um, but I could wait until after I finish off this idea group, because that'll give the construction time minus 25%, which I believe still works on great projects. So that's key right there. All right, so France is just bodying Great Britain right now, so they're not going to join. They are allied to Kilwa um, if I declare on Kilwa, so I'm going to do that and show superiority. Wow, my units just beat a 50k stack with 6 shock and barely any artillery. Peace these guys out too. All right, time to peace out Kilwa. Take all of this. I believe no one really cares for aggressive expansion. We're too strong anyways. All right, CNC has kind of died down. We're going to go for this war on Batmanis. Oh my goodness, look at those numbers. That is some damage. Well, that's the reason why we're using the best general we've ever gotten in this campaign. 
Jeez. Bro, my dude just died. That sucks. And I still got some good generals, but that guy was insane. I'm sad. Alright, we can peace out, but Manus. This will be a little bit of overextension, but our cores are finished, so we can go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm taking most of their trade and also cutting them into a couple pieces just to uh, cause them a little bit of unrest and make it easier to fight them the next time. A little bit of border gore, but we'll make it work. Go ahead and put a merchant in Dakan. And then we'll go over here and trade change this to propagate religion. And uh, Dakan, we still don't quite have enough uh, trade power, but this is going to be quite a bit of provinces that can start being converted for free. Alrighty, we're finally done with court and country, so the state is triumphant. We get 20 max absolutism and some prestige. The time is now. Rents that war with Portugal because of Portugal's ally, Salish. Oh my god, they're... F oh my god, Portugal, you silly boy. Okay, well, I'm going to attack directly into Portugal. And I'm going to co-belligerent Ethiopia. And I'm going to co-belligerent fight all. And we're going to fight the Portuguese. Our manufacturers spawned up here in the Lubeck node. Uh, we have quite a few, so we should be able to build uh, or to get the institution pretty quickly. All right, it's now or never. And it looks like their forts over here aren't upgraded, so we're just going to mosey right on through. They took a beating by Spain, so we should be able to cross here after we get the fort on Fez and take Lisbon and just piece them out for whatever we want. Oh, I can take every single Maga province. That's awesome. All right, peace out, Ethiopia. And that's what you get for taking explo exploration expansion. You uh, can't win in a fight. It's just not going to happen. I learned that lesson the hard way a couple times against uh, Quagrasol once. In the meantime, we'll take all this stuff. And we, now we have an expansion path into Central Africa as well. All right, let's get the last level of this monument for the extra missionary strength. And we'll try and spend some money on that whenever we can. All right, France peaced out. Sweet. Now we can occupy their stated provinces, which can give me some more war score, especially the capital here. All right, that's it. We get the entire of the Maghreb, and uh, Spain might join coalition, but that's the only person who cares. I don't think they can take me. That is a lot of provinces. That pushes us to 417. We're very close now. All right, let's go on the Ottomans again. This should uh, more or less finish them off. I want their Sunni provinces. All right, let's spend all this money and embrace the institution. And then uh, the rest of our money we're going to be saving just for great projects in the meantime. Just to stack some modifiers. We got some stab costs to get. We have some caravan power we need to get. And that's just going to really snowball us into uh, into this Arabia that we're going to be forming soon. Right, we're going to null Kilwa's treaties with Great Britain and the Ottomans. And we're just going to piece them out for that. And then the Ottomans need to be pieced out. Unfortunately, Commonwealth occupied these two provinces. It's fine. We'll just take this instead, and we'll piece them out of the war. All right, we're just going to keep the conquest going. We're going to take out these guys and uh, get some Songhai as well, and try and border um, Timbuktu, ideally. That way we can get another war going off on them. I don't think they're allied to anybody who's a colonizer, so we should be in the clear. That's correct. All right, so no belligerent Songhai. At some point, we're going to have to go to war with Spain. Them being rival to France is a huge benefit to us. All right, siege. Always fun. All right, we can take all of this from these guys. Um, I just want borders with pretty much everybody. That's the main goal. I can get border with Benin too. That'd be great. We're getting closer. 449 provinces. All right, we upgraded this to level 2. Just getting some extra caravan power. 10%. And 5% trade efficiency, so that's going to boost our economy. All right, he's there now. We go... Oh my goodness, that's so much more money. All right, all right. Maybe I can play around with this. Maybe move my trade capital. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. We're so very close to getting 1,000 ducats per month. We can get the hegemony very shortly. All right, let's just go to war right away with these guys. All right, we can take all these guys' provinces. All right, let's just start this great project. Uh, we can dump manpower and money into that. Uh, probably save the manpower until we're closer to the cap. but And that should give us uh, quite a bit of extra money coming in. So we can start snowballing even faster. I'm not worried about the overextension whatsoever. Now this is a monument that I didn't remember being here. Uh, all we have to do is uh, convert the province to Muslim. And uh, we can get some extra missionary strength and some bonus missionaries. So 
that is priority number one. One thing that we're trying to do too, that I'm not really showing too much on camera, is that um, I'm trying to use my dip points that um, would put me over the point cap on developing provinces in Arabia. And that gets us closer and closer to this mission, which we're going to uh, kind of brute force later on as we get um, more universities and um, stuff like that in the region to really scale our dev cost, make our points really efficient to get this achievement. And we upgraded one more time, so it's going to go from 446 to 464. All right. A little bit of an increase there. I don't know if it was worth the thousands and thousands of ducats, but it's fine. Now we just have to save up uh, for the next monument, which we just need to finish coring down here somewhere. There it is. All right, the Batmanus truce expired. We're going to go in on them again. Some I might annul uh, Mawa's uh, alliance with them. Clear the war. They have a lot of men, but our troops are just stronger, so we're just going to pile in as much as we can. That's a big stack wipe. Our leaders are insane, too. All right, the cores are done, so the first thing we do is convert this to Muslim, and then we should be really, really good to uh, get the missionary strength. We're going to brute force the heck out of it, just dump our money into it. Get three free missionary strength plus another missionary. So that's going to help us convert for the rest of the game. We don't even need religious ideas. Religious ideas are they're good for the um, tolerance of the true faith, making sure your provinces don't have unrest. But other than that, mm, not that great. Oh, man. Oh, I thought that was going to be a stack wipe. There was like 50-some K there. I really thought that was going to be a stack wipe. That would have been sweet. It feels so good to see that morale go down like that. I'll take all of this and all of their forts and peace out and we should be able to raise all that stuff and we're almost done with this province over here being converted then we can dump all our stuff in here all right the conversion is successful we're gonna dump all of our money in here and maybe i dumped a little bit too much money in there but that's making everything super fast to convert now finally we can also start converting into khan from our merchant, now that we have stolen some of the trade power from Batmanis. We are so very close, 20 provinces away. Upgrade this one last time, and we'll dump money and manpower in here. All right, declaring the war. I wanna make sure that uh, I don't waste my ability to raise, because once I form Arabia, that's not gonna be a thing anymore. And uh, at Dip Tech 23, you get imperialism, so I think I wait until Dip Tech 23, or, uh, just until I feel comfortable with my borders, and then by then, probably Dip Tech 23 will be ready to go. All right, I'm just gonna take this ahead of time. I mean, I could be devving my provinces, but I wanna start getting to work on the next idea group. And that, of course, is gonna be, uh, it's really a hard one because Diplomatic would be great for the Provincial War Score cost. Humanist would be great because I get some tolerance. So admin ideas, probably gonna be the best for the stab cost and everything else. Have an idea as it is. Don't need religious ideas as Naj. This shit is bonkers broken. Let's go ahead and take Militech ahead of time too. We'll just get everything ahead of time. We're gonna be raising all this stuff anyways, and that's gonna be getting our, our mana back that we can use to dev later. Three provinces away from the achievement. Here we go. One more. Oh yeah, catch him out without a leader. Take that. Oh yeah. That's what you love to see. Big old stack wipe. There it is. Jihad. Got it done. Asnaj owned 500 Sunni provinces. You know, I tried that a lot of times back when I was not very good at this game. This is so much easier with these new missions, to be honest. Well, everybody, that does it for this episode of the campaign. In the next and final episode, we're going to be finishing off the Desert Power achievement and forming a very tall Arabian Caliphate. So stay tuned for that video. If you like this one, please subscribe. We're gonna be posting videos every Thursday and maybe even every Monday. I don't know, we'll see if we can make that work. With that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.